In this video lecture, I will be talking on junctional diversity. And as you may know that junctional diversity is beneficial for creating diverse array of different TCR required for recognition of around 10 to power 16 pathogen antigen. And as you may know that T lymphocytes cannot see tertiary protein. For example, they cannot see bacteria. To see bacteria, first it should be bacteria should be taken by the antigen presenting cell, dendritic cell, B cell, and macrophages. Then this tertiary protein get processed inside the antigen presenting cell and presented on the surface of antigen presented presenting cell in association with major histo compatibility class 2. So now T lymphocyte, as I mentioned that it is a blind cell and cannot see tertiary protein but can see primary protein. So now T lymphocyte can see the the peptides or the primary proteins. And since TCR should be able to see or to recognize around 10 to power 16 of different microbes or non-self antigens. But however, TCR DNA has fewer variable gene segments around 10 to power 3 or around approximately 3,000 640 uh, variable gene pairs. So, to increase the capability and the capacity of T cell to see this number of microorganisms, there are several possible mechanisms contribute and generate high degree of TCR diversity. For example, junctional flexibility or junctional diversity in form of B nucleotide addition and N nucleotide addition. So addition of B nucleotide will increase the recognition capacity of TCR to around 10 to power 13. So, accordingly, junctional diversity or created junctional diversity of 10 to power 13 plus random gene segments recombination, which is around 10 to power 3, this will lead to a diversity of 10 to power 16. So, TCR will be able to recognize different 10 to power 16 processed antigens. So now we are going to discuss creation of junctional diversity. Uh, at junction, uh, it is actually created as a junction of uh, variable and joining segments where nucleotide for example, B and N are added. So, junctional diversity occurs. So, addition of B and N nucleotides or B and N nucleotide will be added in the junction between VD, VDJ for beta gene, for beta gene segments of the rearranged TCR beta gene and between V and J genes segments in 
rearrange TCR alpha genes. So, this is actually uh, the site or, 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 or the site of combination to, to create this uh, diversity. It is actually governed by recombination sequence signal which flanks as can be seen here it flanks the three side of the variable alpha and it flanks the five side of the joining alpha this is in case of segments that encode alpha chain but for beta chain the recombination signal sequences they flank similar to this alpha in case of beta they flank the three side of variable beta and they flank the five side of joining beta uh, but however they flank uh, both sides of diversity uh, gene uh, segments so rag one or recombination activity gene one and recombination activity gene two together with dna repair protein for example artemis cleave herbin this is a herbin loops form and add b nucleotides so b nucleotides are added as the end of the gene uh, segment then terminal deoxynucleotide transferase at n nucleotides and and this can be seen here uh, clearly as can be seen here this is a gene segment and this is a joining gene segment and as the end of the gene segment the recombination activity gene they they start to cut or to cleave as this side and then they cleave as this side okay uh, this is uh, followed by addition of b or uh, palindromic nu nucleotides and this will end with a gap here so the gene cannot be left open so the terminal deoxy nucleotide transferase start to add some nucleotides these are known as n nucleotides which are non templated uh, nucleotides so as can be seen here these nucleotides added are different in in these nucleotides and so this will lead to increase in the uh, diversity of the uh, TCR and as can be seen here as I mentioned that the process of joining of different uh, gene segments it is directed by the role or initiated by the role of 12 base pair uh, recombination signal sequence the spacer is 12 base pair to 23 base pair spacer of recombination signal sequence then rag 1 and rag 2 uh, initiate the uh, recombination of different uh, signals so these uh, of different uh, loops or different uh, gene segments so now the gene segments they brought together like this by mean of the rag one and rag two so rag one and rag two start to cut here then they add b nucleotides and this process will end with formation of hairpin again rag enzymes cut this hairpin and this this area the bare area due to the uh, effect of the rag enzymes on the herbin is uh, repaired by several enzymes for example 
terminal deoxynucleotidyl transferase were at N nucleotides and uh, together with some other uh, enzymes, for example, or proteins, for example, Artemis and DNA ligase. And this actually it ends with the formation of VGC, which is a functional uh, gene that uh, can encode TCR alpha. Similarly, in the case of gene segments that encode TCR beta chain, uh, it is flanked by the RS uh, recombination signal sequence actually. It flanks uh, variable, as can be seen here, this is variable beta, and it flanks joining beta, and it flanks both sides of uh, diversity segment. So according to the role of 12 to 12 base pair to 23 base pair, the D or diversity will bind to the J, then D J will bind to the V beta, and this will lead to a functional gene that has the capacity to encode uh, beta TCR. And also, similarly, RAG will bind to this and will cut here and will add B nucleotides, then uh, terminal deoxy nucleotide, nucleotidyl uh, transferase adds N nucleotides randomly. So, this, this is here, as can be seen here, these nucleotides are add uh, randomly uh, to be nucleotide. These are B nucleotides, so they can read T, C, G, A, for example, and similarly, from opposite direction, they can read it T, C, G, A, which is a, a templated uh, nucleotide. But however, these are uh, non-templated uh, nucleotides. But however, they increase the diversity and the diversity according to this uh, process uh, will increase and it reach approximately to 10, 10 to power uh, 13. So in summary, uh, according to this uh, junctional uh, diversity, uh, a high degree of TCR diversity will uh, result in and uh, it, it's that equal, it is equal to approximately 10 to power 13. Thank you very much, Professor Ahmed Bollard.